Philly fans, Philly fans They're the better are better team. Listen, Philly fans are minding their business, celebrating the season that they're having. Dallas Cowboy fans are no are, are disgusting and nauseating the world about what they're going to do, acting like they already done it. You go to Super Bowl next year, right? You go to Super Bowl next year. Super Bowl's coming. I got one of my college buddies, my man Mark Turner. He get on my day. I love him like a brother, but he get on my damn nerves every week. He calls me. Oh, did you see it? Did you see the Cowboys? Except for when they lose. You see, mm. then he hides for months. Okay, this is what he does. It's typical, disgusting Cowboy fan. They're the ones that's talking. They're the ones acting like Roger Starbuck is still their quarterback. They're the ones that's walking, that's acting like, you know what, they're the Super Bowl champions when Troy Aikman was throwing the football or Michael Irvin or Emmitt Smith was running out of the backfield. That, that's who they think they are all the time. So guess what? The pressure's on you because it's rare that it's been legitimate expectations. The illegitimacy of their arguments is what makes them disgusting and nauseating. The fact of the matter is, in this particular season, they're legitimate title contenders. Mm -hmm. So because of that, because of that reality, you got to show up. You got to handle your business. You got to answer the call for a change. You ain't done it in 27 years now. Mm. You ain't done it in 27 years. Same what with What you Yankees, going right? to do? That's all I'm saying. Feels like you're Yankees. Go ahead. Go ahead, Green no, Lantern. Uh, ahead. Green, I know you didn't just call me Green Lantern. No, I was just saying it's green. It's green everywhere. It's green everywhere. <laughs> I it's cannot stand it's you. It's green everywhere. That's so, everywhere. Go, ahead. go ahead. Okay. I agree with you that the answer is the Cowboys. Okay. But why, why are they under so much pressure? Because people like you. People like you every single week. Writing them off. You just said they're a legitimate contender. And yet, at every turn, you use every opportunity to get on your little Instagram mm -hmm. and post, mm -hmm. ah, how about them cowards? Ah, ha, ha. Oh, with your little hat I and all that. I saw the videos. Yeah, you do those videos. Like, selfie videos. Yeah. So with you're the black hat on you, there yeah. on Sunday. I saw yeah, you do those. See? Doing the you're most. Doing those all the time. so extra. As extra as that tie you got on every Ain't week. Fly? Ain't thing. it fly? Ain't it fly? It is nice. It is nice, you know. But here's the thing. You yourself just said that they're a legitimate contender. So why is it that you always assume that the Cowboys will do their worst in the biggest moments? I have evidence to, to support those theories. They continuously have done it throughout the years. Even on rare occasions that they've had legitimacy attached to their expectations, they've still faltered. I haven't been wrong in 27 years. I mean, that's the reality of the situation. I mean, it's an easy answer to that question. The reason they're under so much pressure is because of the star because everything is amplified in Dallas. Yes. They are America's team. This is a rot people are waiting to see them fall. Yes. Someone sitting across from me right now. Yes. I'm waiting. Cuz it's going to happen. See, but that's what I'm saying. It's going to happen. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You are already predicting disaster yes, before that. disaster even Remember happened. Remember last year when they were on that roll and I sat right across from Michael <sighs> Irvin and I looked him dead in his face, doggy, and I said, "They won't even win a playoff game." And sure enough, Right they, on. Didn't, they didn't let me down. This is what they do. You see what I'm saying? This is what they do. And that's why. That's why they under but this pressure. this is because, every time. Let me tell you. Every sure. time I travel on the road, every yes. time I get in an yes. Uber, every time yes. I'm at a stadium, you know what I hear? What? Oh, you do a good job keeping Stephen A. in check. You do a really good job. I like that. that. No, no, no. But then that. they also talk about, tell him to lay off my Cowboys. I know. Because he is out of control. He yes. is out of pocket. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Because this is a team that is good enough to win a Super Bowl, despite right. the interceptions, Dak leading the right. league in interceptions since week, right. seven, week right. 10. We know that this team has the roster to do it. Right. But right. every week, you, you complain know, you about it. Are we going to let Mad Dog speak? Yeah, we're going to let him speak. With I want to hear. He's got a lot of scribbles. I want to see all these notes. that I never told this? Oh, Do you boy. know that so a dramatic. couple of years ago at the airport in Dallas, a 75-year-old black woman shoved me and said, stop talking bad about my cat. Well, sounds oh. like you deserved it, huh? Wow. I was like, well, I felt like I felt did, like Jack Klugman did, with the odd couple. Yeah. Did you feel... <laughs> Felix <laughs> Edgar, when it punched yeah. it off. I did, couldn't believe it. Did you feel like karma so real? I think the Eagles have more pressure. First, I of, totally all, first of all, you didn't even think Jalen Hurts could be the starting quarterback and be a good starting That's quarterback. True. That's so true. how is he? Now all of a sudden this team I is good. I jumped on the bandwagon. Oh, I'm my goodness. I jumped on the bandwagon. The jumping's good. They're I'm with you, one. doggy. I mean, uh, with their record and their season. Uh, Jerry Jones is the guy who puts the pressure on the Cowboys. It's his fault. Radio interviews. He's always talking. Always you know, back on helicopters. Yes. How about Jerry Lay Low? Take a little pressure off his team. Jerry puts pressure on his team. Mm -hmm. How about laying low and taking a little pressure off his team? That's number one. Number two, 
The NFC's a mess. Brock Purdy's a quarterback in San Francisco. I mean, Minnesota... Very, he's been a very good quarterback. Who is? I'm sorry? He's been a very good quarterback thus per far. Purdy. I got to yeah. see more on the road. Things. He played well in Seattle. But Minnesota's got cousins. The whole world hates him. They're gonna, they don't have home field. They're going to have to play three road games. It is there for the taking for the Eagles. They have, the, they, they have a buy. They're going to be 14-3, and 15-2, and 16-1 and one in that area. They're going to have to win two home games in a tough city with an offense that's been superb. They get a well-balanced team. They're going to be a huge favorite to get out of the NFC. Not maybe to beat Buffalo or Kansas City or Cincinnati, mm -hmm. but to get out of the NFC, if you want to bet somebody else besides the Eagles, if you want to oh, do it this way, if you want to bet the Eagles besides anybody else and they don't make it, you're going to lose a fortune. They are the big, huge. They're going to be the home field with a buy with a 15-2 and two or whatever their record is going to be. They are going to be far and away yeah. the team to beat in the NFC. That I agree pressure. with you. That brings pressure. Dallas doesn't have that kind Jaylen, of pressure. Jalen Hurts isn't even playing on Christmas Eve, and they're five-and-a-half-point favorites. I must say, you know, in the midst of his diatribe, you interrupted him about three times. Sorry. I I'm mean, you're, you're, a bit, so you're a bit I'm persnickety sorry. this morning. I'm I mean, you, you know you, what? You, you, you got me fired up. You got me fired persnickety up. Persnickety means fussy, you know, always, yeah, you, know, you know, flat, you know, Worried about the small okay. details. Oh, so, okay, they okay. corrected me. Dallas is favored. Okay, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know, that's, uh, that's usually, okay. you usually leave that up to Molly. Okay. Molly usually does that. I mean, she does I'm that sorry, every day. Because, you know, Today, I you love dogs. Over. Today, you just got um, under my skin, just right. the sight of you. Wow. Me, I just don't like that tie. I think Ooh, that's wow. it. Wow. Wow. Everybody's persnickety. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.